feel like we all sometimes just need a little reminder of how amazing a classic side dish really can be. Today I am showing you how I make my garlic mashed potatoes. Let's go! I am using just a simple small yellow potatoes for my mashed potatoes. You can pretty much use any potato. Putting them in a pot and filling it with water and adding salt. I've cut them all into equal pieces so that they are going to cook evenly and after giving them a boil, I just want to make sure that I check before uh, draining the water out that they are fully cooked and ready to be easily mashed. I am going to spray garlic all over the place, but also into my pot after draining those potatoes. And I use the back of a knife just to kind of make sure we get all of the garlic. I am using fresh garlic and I'm using two cloves because I like garlic so much. A little bit of butter goes in as well and a little bit more salt salt now. I also want to add a little bit of milk to the pan. Recently I threw out my potato masher because I didn't like the way that it worked so I need to get a new one. However, I will tell you if you have one of these, which is my new favorite tool for breaking up ground beef and ground pork and ground chicken and ground anything, uh, this little meat separator thing works great for mashed potatoes so I'm gonna use this. It's time to get mashing and I am literally just on the stove top keeping the potatoes warm, giving it a smash with this fun little tool. My little secret ingredient, I really like using sour cream in my mashed potatoes. I use two big spoonfuls but you can use a little bit less if you don't want that sour cream flavor. I don't want to waste any of my mashed potatoes so I just use a spoon to scrape off the remains and we have delicious garlic mashed potatoes. They are still hot. You can see the steam coming off. And, you know, just for fun, I like to make sure that I plate all the recipes that I post so that it looks pretty with a little bit of garnish, some fresh parsley from the garden. And there you go. Delicious, easy, full of flavor mashed potatoes that will leave you with a little bit of garlic breath, but it is worth it. What do you put in your mashed potatoes? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your version and any tips and tricks that you guys use out there. And of course, like, comment, subscribe to The Silly Kitchen. Till next time.